Hello, children of God. I have a question for you. If you could have one wish, what might it be if someone came to you and said, I'll give you anything you ask for, what do you think that you would ask for? No wishing for more wishes, that doesn't work. But maybe you would ask for money, fame, fortune, a dog, a doll. Would any of you ask for wisdom? Would you ask for wisdom? Probably not, Fiona. Well, what is wisdom anyway? What does it mean to be wise? Is it sort of like, like, like being really smart? It is not walking in front of the camera. Say hello, say goodbye. Like, like let's say, okay, so, so if I put on some glasses and I have all these books and I have stacks of things that make me look really smart, Maybe then I'll be wise, right? I mean, I could even like look through some of these and, and, and I could tell you exciting facts. Um, like for instance, in, um, in 1887, um, there was a tariff issue and, and Helen Keller uh, met her teacher that was going to help you. And, um, um, and the, and the Coca-Cola company's animated pitchman was, oh wait, no, that's 1987, not 1887. I, I guess I'm messing this up a little bit, but that's not necessarily wisdom, is it? See, some people make this mistake. Some people think that being wise is about being really smart or knowing a lot of stuff. It's not exactly the same because you can know a lot of facts, a lot of information, but you're not going to be really wise if you don't know what to do with all that information. Wisdom has to do not so much with what you know, but who you know. Wisdom has to do with being able to make good choices. For instance, let's say I have the choice between um, having these delicious candy pumpkins. I love these things. I get so excited when they finally come back in. Yeah, do you like them too, Fiona? The cat loves them too. I mean, everybody loves a good old sugar pumpkin, right? Or on the other hand, I could have a banana. Well, Obviously, this choice might seem more appealing, unless you're in that majority of the population that doesn't think these are absolutely delicious. But the banana is probably a wiser choice for me health-wise. So sometimes being wise is simple enough like that. Being able to choose between things and also being able to kind of look ahead in a sense. For instance, the candy might be nice right now, but if I wanna go long-term, for health, well, the fruit's probably a better option. And a lot of times, wisdom involves much bigger and more important decisions than that. Now, we are called to be wise. The book of Ephesians tells us not to act foolishly, but to use wisdom, to use good judgment. So being foolish, well, it's the opposite of wise. Being foolish means you don't think about consequences and you just do whatever you want and you act all silly and go crazy. Well, being wise, on the other hand, is thinking and using what we call discernment, knowing what might be right or what might be wrong in a situation. It, it might sound kind of challenging. It might sound tough. How do you know what's right or wrong? How do you choose when it doesn't seem obvious? Well, the good news is that God wants us to be wise and God will give us wisdom. All we have to do is ask for it. And he wants us to ask for it. In fact, in the Old Testament, we hear a story about a man named Solomon. Solomon was the son of King David, that giant slayer, mighty, awesome, wonderful king dude. Well, his son was named Solomon. Now Solomon was taking over the throne. He was inheriting that from David and he was going to be the new king. And God came to Solomon. God told Solomon, what would you like? I'll give you anything you want. What do you want? He could have asked for a huge palace or a room full of candy or whatever he wanted. But Solomon said, you know what? I would like wisdom. I want to be able to make good decisions and to be able to rule these people. And I need wisdom to do that. I need wisdom to carry out your ways, O oh Lord. So Solomon asked God for wisdom. And that pleased God. God was very happy that he asked for something like wisdom. So he said, okay, Solomon, you'll have wisdom 
And you know what? On top of that, I'm going to throw in some riches too. So you're going to be wise and you're going to have all kinds of cool stuff. Well, that's a pretty good deal. Now, Solomon was very wise. He did do a lot of important judging and made some good decisions, but he didn't always. He slipped up because he was human like we all are. And one of the things that Solomon really didn't do so well was he forgot where all that wisdom came from. He kind of started to rely a little bit more on himself, forgetting that the wisdom was from God. And when Solomon neglected God, some not so great things happened. And the same is true of us. When we neglect God, well, we tend to start acting a little bit more foolishly. We go back to those old habits and old ways, and we make decisions that are not always the best. We have to rely on God. God will give us everything that we need, including wisdom. And he'll help us. He will guide us to the decisions that are best for us when we trust him and when we ask him. So how do we do that? Well, we pray most certainly. We ask him to give us wisdom. We ask him for the ability to understand what's right from what's wrong. We go to the greatest book of all, not an encyclopedia. By the way, this is actually what we used before that Wikipedia stuff came along. It's ancient. But not from those kinds of books, but the greatest book, the Bible. This is our source of all wisdom. It's all right here. Now, we can ask God to help us understand this, too. It's not always that easy. But God promises to be with us. And he will give us that wisdom. He'll be able to help us understand what's better or what's worse in small situations and in large ones. He'll help us to be wise, to be wise in what we say, how we act towards one another, and how we live our lives in each and every moment. God is there. God is with us. God cares what we do. And God will give us that wisdom. So why don't we ask him for some right now? And then maybe we can go practice making some wise choices. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for all of your blessings. Please help us to be wise, to know what is right from what's wrong, and to make good choices. Thank you for always being with us. Thank you for loving us. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope that helps you to explain a little bit more about wisdom. Now, you know the drill. New videos coming out every week with messages and crafts, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Go make some wise choices and make some disciples. We'll see you next time. Have a wonderful week.